YouTube, how are you all? Today is, it is Tuesday the 29th of August 2017. My name's Jan Silver and I've been video logging my journey to and beyond the gastric bypass. Sorry, I'm super wobbly today. I think I'm gonna turn it around and go to there. That's a bit better. I just have to look at my fat bingo. Oh no, don't look at my fat arm. <laughs> anyway. I've been video logging my journey to and beyond the gastric bypass which I had on the 15th of March 2017 at the Berkshire Independent, my surgeons being Dr Ramus and Dr Greg Jones. Uh, surgery, brilliant, have no issues or complaints around my surgery at, at all. Aftercare has been non-existent. Uh, anybody thinking of going with the Berkshire Independent or Ramsey Health in this area, I would strongly advise you not to, that um, the... What was his name? The coordinator who was meant to make appointments and it never, never really did. So anyway, that's my gripe and moan. I'm, as I keep telling you, it must be so boring. I'm so hormonal at the moment and I kind of want to try and explain something today and I'm not sure if I'm going to come across in the right way or not. And I, I hope that I do. I hope that people will watch this and try to understand where I'm coming from. I'm going to talk about people using their phones while driving not only I'm not going to talk about that in particular I'm going to talk about me and my feelings surrounding that and why I don't want to watch people driving and phoning or videoing themselves I think I'm not the most law-abiding citizen there is that uh, let's just put that out there right I, I'm not squeaky clean you know if you scratch beneath the surface with me you're gonna find shit out and you know um, with my whatsapp group the other day I admitted that I have been arrested in the past um, you know for something any, any I'm not gonna go into that I'm just trying to I suppose put myself out there as transparent as possible and to try to make people understand why I do the things that I do I guess so um, I grew up in a household funny thing is my biological father was a firefighter and then when he I was only five when he left but anyway my stepfather that then came in became a firefighter and throughout especially my teenage years I think I grew up with him going out on shouts at all times of day and night and I was curious always always want to know what did you go to was it a house fire was it a car crash what was it and I think for me the gorier at the time the better and you know I've heard some horrific stories firsthand from my stepfather about car crashes and accidents that have bothered him and you know whether it be through somebody's using their mobile phone or whatever you, you know I don't need to go into the statistics of it all because that's self-explanatory right using your phone while driving which we've all done but not videoing um, you know I've probably text message in the past but then we've had mobile phones around for probably the best part of the last 17 years 18 19 years I don't know how long exactly but anyway um, I have a real issue around it and I probably come across as a real busybody and a moral police or I don't know what to call it really I kick myself a little bit and I think what happened this morning and this isn't the first time either so this isn't aimed at anybody in particular I'm just trying to explain myself I think that if there's somebody that I care about or that I think you know I, I don't know I can't help but pull people up when they're using their phone and driving I it gives me major anxiety and I'd, I'd said it um, once to somebody in the US you know a bit of a I kind of tried to say it tongue-in-cheek like don't want to see you crash and she's like well I wouldn't post it if I crash and I think of course you bloody wouldn't because you could be dead right you could have killed a whole family in front of you that that's how serious I see this I don't see it as oh I might knock the curb because I'm driving you know if any of you haven't watched it I did post once about a lorry driver it was maybe two years ago in just down the road from me he was only changing his music he literally picked up his phone to change his music and he plowed into the back of a car with a family in it with three children and a mum and a um, and a friend 
and the dad was two cars behind so that poor father got to see his squashed children in the car you know so I've got all these really bad horror stories flying around in my head and that's factual and you know the police have used one of those um, they've actually used his dash cam as alongside the family that survived as a um, deterrent for people that are wanting to use their phones and drive so I don't know whether I'm coming across the right way I don't know so anyway recently I said something else about a guy who was using a phone like he was really chuffed he'd got this new thing and put it on the down and I was like but it's still illegal and he was like do you know what Dan you're right and he kind of came back saying no thank you thank you for pulling me up and you are right it is illegal and you know he's a father and I'm a mother and I'm a grandmother and I'd hate to think that somebody would potentially knock over my grandchild whilst thinking it's okay to do that to their phone so yes there's times when I, act I actually kick myself so this morning after writing a message to said person about please don't do this it causes me real anxiety you, you know or do it just I don't want to view it you know I, I get that choice I get the choice to click on or not but I think when you're posting it in a whatsapp group I don't know and I did get really bad anxiety about it this morning. I was like, oh my God. And then part of me, there's, that's half of me that gets this anxiety. And then the other half of me is fighting with myself and saying, well, what the fuck's it got to do with me? What she does, what he does. You know, if they want to go off and kill themselves, they don't live near me. It's, but I, I don't know. And I, I wish sometimes that I had this filter that would make me say, well, it's not to do with me. Just shut up, Jan. But the problem is with me is that I can't do that. If I see something, I have to say something. And I, I'm not always happy about it myself, let's put it that way. I'm not always, you know, it's a bit of an ongoing joke. I think I've become the vitamin police and I think I've become the um, let's not drive and use our phones police. I hope it's for all the right reasons and I'm, I'm more than happy to take the piss out of myself for everything and anything, you know. Um, I'm the first person, in fact, to, to mock my own whatever and I'll take this hands down, you know, yes, it's an issue I've got um, I don't even think I've explained it very well but I get serious anxiety about it so you know a lot of people in the US still use their mobile phones and drive I think I asked one lady is it illegal she said well you're not supposed to so that means it is illegal but you still do it you know in this country we're trying to clamp down I think you can get an instant fine and uh, points on your license so anyway I'm just trying to explain why I'm such a busybody when it comes to things like that. I don't think I'm doing a very good job of explaining it. So perhaps I'll just park it there. I'll leave it there. Pardon the pun. Did you get that? Park it there. I sit in my car. And I also know, I know a lot of the reason why people do do their um, updates or stories when they're driving. Because it's time limited. We've all got really precious time these days. And... You know, no one's got enough time to do anything. So in the car, you're driving anyway, it kind of seems. But I know that when you're driving, because I do lives, I do Insta stories and Insta lives, I 100% know that you need to press that button to get it to there and then get something else. So, you you know, you're just taking your mind off it. So I don't know. You can all tell me to bugger off because it's none of my business. But what I can tell you is I won't watch anything. I don't watch YouTubes anymore. I don't watch... Um, YouTube's at all if people are driving their cars. Insta stories are exactly the same. I just, I don't know. I don't know, that's me on my moral high horse. Is that what you call it? <laughs> anyway, I'm enjoying a coffee. Glad I've still got friends when I'm such a cow like that. I'm not a cow, I've just, I care about people. And I think, you know, the last thing I want is to know anybody that's been involved in that kind of an accident or a, you know, situation. simple that's me I did a YouTube once about not wanting to see people smoking drugs on Instagram as well so I suppose that goes along hand in hand and I said all those months ago back then you know I'm not squeaky clean don't think that if you didn't scratch the surface there are you, you know I it is what it is but I can't be anything other than I am sorry not sorry, I guess. Um, 
yeah I said I'm gonna park it there I really am I hope I've had a beautiful day by the way I've spent it with my girls with Chelsea and Willow we've been shopping oh this is weight loss related I did have my boobs measured today and my bra size has definitely changed now for my majority of my adult life I've been a 40 C whether that means anything to I know it does to the UK peeps so I've been a 40C all of my adult life. My largest point just over Christmas last year, I went up to a 42C, huge fat back. And today I got measured, I'm a 38 double D. So that's a little bit of an NSV that I never thought, you know, I haven't lost my cup size, if you like. So the girls are still hanging on in there, but I definitely need to um, get a couple of bras. I did buy one today actually, and I bought a really nice supportive uh, sports bra. So. Yeah, beautiful day with my girls, even saw my son, he's off for a week so he popped in to see Chelsea and Willow and yeah, all is good in my world, just um, yeah, anyway, I hope uh, Tuesday's been kind to you all and I'll speak to you all again soon. Take care, bye.